Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my worlds, the world away. And we're now doing stages 12, 13, 14 and 15 of the fan home release to build the Fast and Furious Dodge Charger. Now it has been a little while since we've done that, so I'm going to give you a quick review of what we've already done up to now. As you can see, we've done the grill and the headlights. There's no electrics in it at this stage, but that's looking like that. We've got a metal steering wheel onto its uh, steering column there. Uh, we've got the turbocharger looking like that. We've got the bonnet, which I don't think we're going to be doing anything to until we actually fit it on the car, like that. And then lastly, we've got the chassis with the wheels and the, uh, well, we're missing a wheel at the moment, which I'm guessing we're going to be doing in these stages here, uh, looking just like that. Did I say turbocharger? Didn't I mean supercharger? <laughs> I don't know. I have problems finding my words. If you've noticed with my X-Wing last night, I had a great deal of problems with that. But if you haven't seen the video that I did after the live stream, uh, which was called X-Wing Coda, you'll see it's finally working. So <laughs> that was all good. Now, listen, if you want to get hold of the Fast and the Furious Dodge Charger for yourself, I've put the link down here. It's also in the video descriptions. You can go over there and get that all the way from pack one. But without further ado, let's get cracking. So to start with, stage 11, we're going to be putting the other wheel on and creating that together. Now, we don't need a kettle or anything like that for this because the rims are actually put in either side and then screwed in. Then we're going to be attaching this to the chassis. So we've actually got a full rolling chassis for, I believe this is, the, uh, the, the front of the vehicle. So I'm just laying all of those parts out. And the first thing we need to do, we've got a tiny valve here looking like that. That's just going to go into the rim here. Uh, there's a very tiny lug in this that we need to put this on and obviously we need it to face inwards Towards the tire. So I'll just get this on just to show you how that looks There we go. And that's that section just there Now that's complete what we want to do is look at the tire and there should be some words on the outside Which says outside and inside this side says inside this side says outside So we're going to take what we've just created there with the valve in it push that into the outside turn it over we're going to put the inner side of the rim into the side that says inside, matching up the screw holes where this is going to go. And then we're going to hold all of that together with HM screws. So I'll drop them a little bit of oil. Get the first one in. So that's the first one in. Do the other two. That's the second, and lastly, that's the third. Make sure they're all in nice and tight. I'm going to put this on the vehicle now, so we can bring this over, just like that. And I'm going to put this over the top of this spindle just here, like that. Not going to hold itself in properly at the moment. There we go. And then we've got an IM screw and a washer to go in now. So if that can hold itself there, which is going to be a little bit tricky. Let me uh, just put something underneath that side there for a second. There we go. Perfect. I'll put this screw, this washer, sorry, through the screw. Drop it in a tiny bit of oil. I'm going to put the washer over the end like this line this up and then get this into place and then tighten that up as tight as i can get it it should still be out to turn as you can see there and uh when we turn it here the steering should enable both sides to move just like that the last thing we've got to do is just get the hub here we're just going to be putting the hub cap just onto the end of the wheel it just presses into these uh holes that we've got this is actually a lot trickier than you think because of the reflection it's hard to see what you're doing <laughs> but i'll push that in that looks good that's in place mirroring what we've got on the other side there and there we go that's all there is to do in that stage Thank you. 
So as you can see in stage 12 here, we're gonna to start to assemble the gearbox. I think this is where it's gonna start uh, to build the engine as well. So uh, it's gonna be all metal parts this is and anything that uh, is going into metal, I normally put an oil in. A lot of people do ask me, what oil do you use? It's just a regular three in one oil. You can get that from anywhere. I do also have it in my Amazon store and I'll put a link down there for my Amazon store and you'll be able to see those sort of things in there. In fact, most of the things that I use, I try and get them in the Amazon store, but Let's continue and show you that at the end of it, it's going to look just like that. So we've got three loads of screws in this one. We're going to put to one side for a minute. And this is what everything looks like in the pack. And the first thing we need is this little flange section here and the oil pan. These are all metal. And quite simply, we're actually just going to be putting this flange inside the oil pan. Now it goes in this way, so that the back section of that flange is pointing towards the larger section of the oil pan. It's going to be held in with AM screws. So I've got them there and I've once again, because it is metal, I will just be putting this into a little bit of that 3-in-1 oil. People say, Do, does it make a difference putting it into this oil? Well, if you don't use oil for one stage and then use oil for another, you'll see what I mean. Just makes the screws go in a lot easier without you getting blisters, but that's in place. We're then going to take the left side of the gearbox housing. That's got these lugs in looking like that. The right side hasn't got as many as you can see and quite simply the flange that we just made is going to go over the top like that once again held in with an am screw now the joy of having all of these parts in metal is while i'm putting this together i can tell you now it's already got some weight to it now you want that to be nice and tight because you don't want that to be wobbling around at the bottom but that's in place put that to one side because we're just going to work on the shaft housing now now that looks like this these two sections here they're just quite simply just going to go together and are held together with am screws you heard that as it went together listen <laughs> just love that sound of metal and once again put one am screw just through this side here and then one just through the other side here excellent then we're going to bring over what we've just worked on because this is going to be going onto this section just here and we want to make sure that the pipe that's coming out the side there is actually pointing towards the oil pan but that's going to fit on like that once again held in with an am screw again don't be afraid to get that as tight as you possibly can because again you don't want any wobble in that we're then going to be taking the right side of the gearbox housing here and that's just going to go over the top it's going to piece all of those bits together like that get it all in both sides there we go and we're going to hold it in just with an am screw through these two holes here so i'll put that one in first and then finally just one at this side here And that gearbox has come along lovely. So now we're going to be doing the starter motor. This is two sections here. You will notice that we have got a little notch just there, which is going to go into the notch that you can see on the edge of this section here. So when we put that in, that's going to fit nice and flush like that. It's going to be held in through this side here with an AP screw. Now, AP screws not going into metal, so I don't put oil on these. Just make sure you don't over tighten it. Because if you do, you're a great danger of uh, rounding the head. I'm doing it slow because I want to make sure that that's completely lined up, which it is. That's the starter motor done. Bring over the gearbox again. And as you can see at the top there, we've got three holes. That's where we're going to mount the starter motor here. So we can line up the locating lug and that's going to go on like that. That's going to be held in by two CM screws. So I'll put one in very gently. I'll get the other one in and then tighten them all up. And that's what it looks like when it's in. And that's all there is to do in that stage.
Now in stage 13, like I mentioned right at the start of the video, as you can see, we're going to start doing the engine block, which is all this. This is all painted ready to go for us. And we've got a few more details to put in there. We are automatically going to be putting the uh, gearbox assembly that we've already done uh, onto this. So at the end, it's looking just like that. We've got the basis of an engine now. So as you can see from the outset, this is quite a bulky part. This is very heavy because all of this is metal and you've got to love the colouring there, the orange colouring. Funny enough, back in the day, uh, before my time, my dad had a, a Datsun 180B and that was the colour of the Datsun. But uh, that's taken me back. Anyway, let's get on with this. <laughs> So we're going to start this stage by attaching the uh, oil filter, which is looking like this. Quite simply, the oil filter here is just going to go onto the end here, just revolving it round so it sits in perfectly flush. You do have a little notch in there, so that's going to help you align it like that. It's going to be held in from this side with an AP screw. Which we've got here, and that just goes down the end. Again, making that nice and tight. Now we're gonna attach this to the left uh, side of the engine block, which looks just like this. It's actually got these amount of lugs in there. Again, the right side's only got two, as you can see. So it's the left side, the one we want. Uh, this is actually just gonna go the hole that we can just see on top there. As you can see, this is what the bottom looks like. So we're just gonna locate that round till that fits in perfectly like that. And it's gonna be held in from the other side here once again, with an AP screw. So I've got that here. This does go in at a kind of angle, so it's a little bit tricky to screw in this one. I'm gonna make sure that's perfectly engaged to where it needs to be. It should line up with the engine block like that. This needs to be a lot tighter. And there you go, when that's in, that's all done. Now, sitting that that way, we've got a bracket to put on. There's two of these, and we want the one that's looking like that. So the longer end, when we put this on, is actually going to go in here, but the longer end's going to be towards the oil filter there. Now, this is going to be held in through the top there with some AM screws. Once again, remembering, we are going into metal. So here's the first screw. And... Bit of oil. There's the second. Excellent. I can turn that upside down like this now because we're going to be mounting the transmission and holding it this way round. It's this ledge here that's going to go over the two lugs that we see there. So this is going to go on just like that there. Once again, held in with AM screws. So I'll put these in really loose at the moment just to hold that in place. I do like the uh, colour scheme of this engine. It is looking lovely. <laughs> right, make that nice and tight. Excellent. And that's now the transmission in. Look how quick that's growing in front of us. Put that to one side because we're going to bring over the other side of the engine block now. We've got another bracket to put in here. Again, the, the long side of this is going towards this side of the engine. So this is going to sit in like that. That's held in again with two AM screws. That's the first one. And there we go. That's the second one. And then we're going to be marrying these both together. So following the same direction that you see of these here, this is going to follow that just over the top like that. That looks pretty impressive, doesn't it? Once again, in these holes here, we're going to be putting some AM screws. That'll keep both of these in place. That's the first one. You can see why I've got... a. Uh, blisters this week on my hands can't you <laughs> the amount of screwing i've done this week yes i know there's innuendos on the world awaiting channel again <laughs> need to get your mind out the gutter <laughs> 
there we go so that's nice and tight and there we go so that's now looking like that what we've got to do now is just put the sump cover in this is what the sump cover is looking like the uh, larger end here is going towards the engine so it's going to be going on that way like that and once again that's held in with AM screws so one there one this side again nice and tight and that's it that's all there is to do in the stage look how impressive that engine's looking already and it's all metal very heavy So the last stage we're going to be assembling the engine block part two as you see we've got the uh, cylinder head covers here by the look of it we're going to be assembling those with the oil cap and putting these on the engine block that we just created so by the end of it it's looking just like that so these are the rocker head covers looking like that these are plastic but as you can see they're lovely chrome we're going to be putting the oil filler caps on them and yes there is two so we've got one going on this side here and we've got one going on this side over here they're held in with dp screws so i've got them here going into plastic you don't want to over tighten them so that's ample and the same on this one here excellent we then have some caps to put on the top of these just to hide the screw that we put in that's an ingenious way of doing that looking like that and do the same on the other side here so there we go we've got two oil filler caps in place we could put that to one side bring over the engine block that we've been working on so we get the cylinder bank head looking like this and this is the left hand side one this is just going to go on the vehicle this way round like that that's going to be held in with CM screws we got plenty of them for this build so put this side in first that's one and that's two now because we're mirroring what we're doing I'm actually <laughs> breaking away from the instructions slightly I'm actually just putting both sides in where they need to go they want us to do one side first in the instructions and the other, but uh, my OCD is telling me, no, if you're doing something to one side, do it to the other side as well. <laughs> if anything, it's keeping it perfectly balanced. So, so if you uh, want to deviate from the instructions and you are building this, then uh, yeah, by all means, follow what I'm doing. <laughs> so here's the second one. And then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting these uh, rocket head covers over the tops of these here. Now they go on with the oil filter towards the middle here. And the larger section of these needs to fit before it between the transition uh, transmission. So that's the left bank and it's going to go on just like that there. That's going to be held in with four CM screws. So I've got one in there just to hold it. Put the rest of them in. This is the third screw going in here. And then lastly, we've got the fourth one just down the bottom here. And as you can see, that's one in place. Once again, exactly the same thing, but this time the oil filler cap is going to be on the other side. So that looks like that. Held in with four CM screws. And this is the last screw going in. What a beautiful looking engine. Absolutely lovely. But that is all of those stages completed from that pack. And that is all there is to do in the pack. So there we go, that's 11, 12, 13 and 14 completed. Uh, I thought I'd give you a quick tease of what's coming in uh, 16, 17, 18 and 19. Uh, rather than look at the instructions, put them over there, let's just show you all the parts. We've got issue uh 15 this will be on the channel soon as you can see it looks like we've got some uh, a lot of chrome work on there to do then we've got what's this one this is issue 18 again a lot of chrome pipe work to do there 
Then we've got, oh, this one looks fun. This is uh, issue 16, piping, HT leads, I'm guessing, uh, and spark plugs. And then finally, uh, pretty much looks like we're working on the uh, belt system there. That's issue 17. But uh, that's an insight of what's to come, and hopefully that will be on the channel next week. But I really do hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.